Did you know that you can display and edit Excel and open document format files in Google Sheets? Well, you absolutely can. So for this tutorial, we'll just uh, upload an Excel document, but for the open document format, it's exactly the same. So the first thing we need to do is upload the Excel file onto our Google Drive. So right now you can see that I am in my Google Drive, in My Drives under My Excel File Locations. So one option is to go to your file manager on your computer. So for me, I will open my file manager here and you can see in my downloads that I have the gradebook. I'm going to click this and just drag it over and it'll upload it automatically. So now that's appeared. Now all you have to do there is click it and double click and it will open. Now, before we go ahead, there's another common approach that you might uh, get an Excel file, which is usually from your email in your Gmail account. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to delete this and move to bin. So I just hit the delete button and move to bin there. And I'm going to go over to my email account. Now, Mrs. Yagi-san Adade has sent me this and I can see that it's uh, the same Excel document. So I'm going to open it and you can see that I have some options here. Download, add to drive or edit with Google Sheets. I can go straight into editing with Google Sheets from here. So here's another option. Let's click it and open. The first thing you'll notice is up the top left hand side is the gradebook, which is the header. And then next to it is the XL file file name. OK, and if I hover over it, it tells you what it is. If it's a Google Sheet, it won't have this. So it's a good indicator of what you're working in at the moment. So next, if we have a look at this sample Excel file, we can go ahead and change it. So I might change it to two, might change that to four, and change that to six, for example. And everything changes just fine. Now the saving process happens automatically, uh, so there's no need to save. So there is one thing you want to uh, keep in mind. Some files, some Excel files aren't great for editing, particularly if you've got something like these graphs here. They might not appear the way you want them to appear on your Google Sheet. So let me show you an example. I'll go back to this file here and let me open it up in Excel. Okay, and you'll note that the two graphs are completely different. So here we've got one in the back, gray background which sort of fades in and fades out on either side. And then you'll also note on the left hand side here, the sidebar, there's alternating colors on the edit part of this Excel document in Google Sheets. But back in the original Excel file, there are no alternating colors here. So this is one of the limitations of editing your Excel document in Google Sheets. So the benefit of editing your Excel file in Google Sheet for me is more so for transferring an Excel document into a Google Sheet. It may take a little bit of wrangling and editing, but once you've got it in your Google Sheet, you've then got it for your entire uh, workspace and uh, network to be shared and edited. To export or to save the document, first we got this document from our email back in here, and we want to find out where it is located. We can do this by going up here to the Move button, and this will open up a file manager. And you can see if we've just opened it up from email, it's saved straight to your main drive. Let's put this in our, our My Excel file location. Click here and we'll go move. It's organizing and thinking and it's all been done. Hit dismiss. If we go back to here and quickly refresh, we should see that the Gradebook Excel file is in the drive. So if you want to download the file, you can click on the file in your Google Drive file manager and go to these ellipses here and click on download and that will download the file. Because we've already got one in our file manager on my computer, it'll put a little one next to it. So I can either open straight from here or we can go show in folder and you can see there's show in folder. And if I open this up in Excel, you'll also note some small changes. So there's a few problems here again. Like I said, this is not a 100% tool for editing uh, Excel documents, but it's pretty good if you're not working with graphs. But you'll note here that there's a further change when we've downloaded it with the background uh, not being in black. Uh, whereas if we go back to our Google Sheet, that it was edited in black, but it did retain its soft edges if we go back to here. And it did keep the original Excel document format, which was here instead of the alternating colors that we were editing in on our Google Sheet. So let's close that. We won't save this time. 
And another approach too is to download directly from here. So we can grab the file and we hit download and Microsoft Excel and that will download this document with the same formatting um, as we saw just previously and it will download our file. So what if you want to convert your Excel file to a Google Sheet? That's really easy. All you need to do is go to File and go down to here where it says Save as Google Sheets. Click on that and a new pop-up window will appear. As you can see, it creates a whole new Google Sheet version, but it also retains the Excel version as well for editing. And both these files should be in the same location. So if we go to our Excel file location in our Google Drive, you can see that in my drive, my Excel file location, we now have our Excel document, and then we have the Google Sheets version of that document. And both can be open and edited individually. Okay, that's it for editing Excel files and open document format files in Google Sheets. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button, and if you want to see more, why not subscribe? See you in the next tutorial.